So um, just uh, one or two minutes of closing remarks, and then hopefully you can uh, save your questions for Ethan, and he'll, he'll be here for some more time. So challenging for me to summarize everything that, uh, that we've heard today, and I think as Ethan just showed, there are some AI podcasts that can probably, uh, a podcast hosts that can probably do it better than I could uh, already, but I'll highlight just two of the recurring themes and special things that, that I really saw today. Um, so first, I think we saw this glimpse of the future of medical education, which of course is involving the advancing AI capabilities of AI itself, but I think a very consistent theme is, uh, is honing and uh, cultivating our own human ability to work with AI, to collaborate with it, one of our most crucial skills may become actually being able to work uh, in tandem and harmonize our own human expertise with AI. And second, I think we saw this from the very beginning. This is not hypothetical. It's tempting to think this is just a classroom discussion. This is years away. We're going to work on and opine on how you know this, this should work. But this is really being used by patients and doctors now. It's being used in care. It's being used by residents and fellows. Um, moms of, of loved ones who are suffering are using this to deliver real value. Uh, it's also introducing new questions that we must grapple with right, right now. So I want to just thank um, the generous support of our sponsors for this conference, Takeda and Merck. Uh, grateful for their support and their enduring commitment to precision medicine. They've supported us for, for many years now. And I want to give a special thank you to Samantha Lemos for organizing this meeting with me and Zach. Let's give her a round of applause. And uh, I also want to thank all of you for joining us for this uh, 10th anniversary meeting uh, of, uh, of Precision Medicine. And uh, this has been a really amazing idea, amazing day, full of lots of ideas around medical education and AI. I think I just want to channel a little bit of Ethan's energy, one of the big lessons, keep innovating, keep experimenting, keep testing these models. Um, they're changing fast and help explore how they can, you know, you can use AI to improve medical education. Thank you everyone for being here today.